Good Tuesday morning, everybody. It's uh, a very dramatic start to the day with the sky. I don't know. I'm hoping the colours will come out, but the sun's rising over in that direction, and got a bit of a, a rainbow over there. Funny coloured rainbow, mind. Into the clouds. Very dramatic. Time for a time lapse, but I ain't, I've got to go to work. Anyway, moving on. Just dropped off at the shop on the way home. That's the first two working days over with. Oh, just watch what I'm doing. First two working days over with. Picked up some shopping at the Coop, at the Copy, and I'm off now home. And there's a massive queue out there. So hopefully I can get out of the shop. If not, eh, this is what happens. So they might be kind enough to let me out. Thanks it though. I'll give it a try. See if I can win you. Winged it. I'm glad today's all weather. I'm feeling a little bit rougher today. Uh, I felt all right yesterday working. Just when I got home, I felt a little bit there. Uh, but now I don't feel too good. But perhaps I'm just getting tired. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it easy. I'm uh, going to go home and do nothing. I'm going home and, well, I say I go home and put a film on, but I guarantee that Michelle's going to have things like pointless celebrities and the other quiz shows on that you know happen at this time of the evening so we can have that dis our usual discussion on what we're going to watch and I'll probably end up getting up and doing something else but only reason I'm saying that is because I winch my way out of there perhaps I can winch my way into watching a film I want to watch but anyway with that I'm on my way home and I shall speak to you shortly when I get home moving on Hi guys, that's me home, and we'll say hello to the invalid. How are you feeling? Better, thankfully. Good. Certainly better than I felt yesterday, and about 110% better than I felt over the weekend. Back to work tomorrow. I've had this on pre-order for like a year. I'm really, really looking forward to reading it. Um, and I love the, the artwork on the inside. And I'm just so excited to be reading that. Pre ordered for a year? Uh huh. Yeah, I don't pre order. I don't pre order ever since she announced that she was writing a fourth book. It's not, like I say, it's not really 
sequel? It's not really um, a follow on from the All Souls trilogy, um, but it has a lot of the same characters. Diana's in it, and Matthew's in it, and Marcus. Ah, uh, spoiler alert. People watching the program. Uh, <laughs> that's the thing, I mean, it's like. This is going to be Game of Thrones all over again. People are going to be like, you know, Discovery of Witches, oh my god, it's amazing. And thankfully, I'm actually watching it this time because rather than when Game of Thrones came out and I'd read. I think I'd read five, four or five books by the time the TV series got started. And um, every week the people would be coming in and going, you know, oh, Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, whereabouts are they? What was the story? And they're like, oh, this, 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 this. And I'm like, ah. And then there was the bit where... Um, I think it was getting to the point in the series where the Red Wedding was coming up and I'm like, oh my god, you don't want to miss next week. And then they came in on, on the, the Monday and they're like, why didn't you warn me? And I'm like, no, nah, what are you going to do? And it's going to be the same all over again, except this time at least I'm watching it. Um, but the books have been out for eight, nine years now, so... <coughs> it's like spoiling Harry, the Harry Potter films for people who hadn't read the books. <coughs> Apologies for the coffee. Not you quite. Know what I mean? Not quite. It's like. So yeah. Your new book. My Is new that going to, to be Red Shelf? It will be, yeah. I'm still working on uh, a red. Four. Three. Three, three novels, and I'm halfway through a fourth. Oh, we were off on a holiday last week. Um, I read um, <coughs> "Daughter of a Burning City" by Amanda Foody. That was one of my favorite books. And that was really, really good. Um, it follows the story of. Um, a girl um, who's part of a circus in a travelling town called Gamora. Um, it it was it was it was really really good. I wasn't I wasn't overly convinced that I was gonna like it, but um, I'm looking to see what else Amanda Foodie's written now because a couple of her books are supposed to be really really good. <coughs> and then I start I reread. E.S. Thompson's Beloved Poison, um, which I'd read last year, I want to say. Um, and then went on to book two, and now I'm, which is um, Dark Asylum, and now I'm on to book three, which is The Blood. Um, and it follows an apothecary called Gems Lockhart who is a woman living life as a man in Victorian London. Um, and it's like a murder mystery series. <coughs> <coughs> and Alan's dying, as you can hear. Um, and the fourth book in that series is out next year. Uh, Surgeon's Hall. So I'm looking forward to that. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So before I cough myself all over this video, moving on. <laughs>